Billy the Artist here. Now, this is from a long time ago, How to Draw Sean the Sheep. Link in the cards in the description to the How to Draw playlist. 2015, so that's a good three years ago. And I've not actually done, being British, you think I would do Ardman Animation a little bit more. But life's been a bit bonkers and busy, but we shall correct that now. And we're going to do Doug at first from the new Ardman film, Early Man. Again, there's not going to be any plot spoilers for the film. And we're going to do a number of the characters. But we're going to start with Doug. But this is about portraiture, which is quite simple. Now this, and there's a link in the cards in the description, is a portrait of a comedian that I did named Bill Bailey. And we went to see him. And I came out with this flyer. I thought, that's quite a nice striking image. So I knocked out this very quick. And this took 24 minutes in real time. So exactly the same as I do my how to draw videos. I did that for a full portrait, but you can also check out the portraits playlist. And there is in there some very highly detailed pictures. So you'll see portraits of people like Ed Sheeran, the singer Cheryl, the Doctor Who. So there's a few there and they take a lot longer than these. So rather than being 20, 30 minutes, they take hours, if not a day, a day and a half sometimes. So it's about how long you spend, but I'm doing these to encourage you to actually draw quickly so anyway we shall crack on now and we shall draw Doug and remember I'm going to use shapes I'm using the trusty 2b pencil and so first off I'm just gonna divide the page into quarters so we've got four sections and that helps us to start placing everything you don't have to do that you can just start placing the shapes if you want nice and easily and we've got the top of Doug's head here and you can see that his hair is coming down. So if I just draw a big box there, you know that all of Doug's head is going to come in. Now again, if we do another box inside of that, that's going to come across to about there. And then we can kind of just put a triangle in because Doug's head is slightly going in it's not a straight square and we can put the extra shapes in in a moment and then we come down from his neck so his neck is going to be there and then we have his body and his arms kind of going off there and we can just bring an arm down there i'm not going to do his knuckles on the side because this is just going to be a head and shoulders type portrait and then we can start adding in the details so we know that there there's a rectangle for his belt and we can draw that down. So very quickly, very lightly, we've put in a number of basic shapes that will allow us to then put the proportions in for Doug. That's how simple it is. Check out the links in the cards and descriptions again, how to draw anything. And in the playlist, my how to draw playlist, there are over 90 how to draw videos showing these techniques. So anyway, now what we're going to do is start adding in Doug's details. So from that centre line, we know you can kind of draw a banana shape that's going to be his mouth that's going to come down and his chin line is going to come down and then we want a bit of an egg. So we just want an oval shape and that'll be Doug's nose, a little circle for his nostril very quickly and then his eyes uh, the two kind of ping pong balls and so his eye kind of just a little bit past the edge of his nose there and then this eye is a little bit lower they're on a little bit of a tilt but again you just draw a circle nice and quickly and they there you go and then we want the big circle for his pupil that's inside and there you've got very very quickly and simply his basic shape now his teeth again they're just just boxes so you can draw a box down for that tooth that tooth's inside this tooth is just over a bit. 
He's got nice big chompers, hasn't he? And then we can start detailing those up. So you can see very quickly how any face shape is made up of these very basic shapes, whether it's circles, triangles, squares or rectangles. Now, his hair is just a big mop of massed hair that kind of comes down and comes down the back. I'm using the side of the pencil and drawing that quite quickly and then we need his cheek and it'll be the shadow and shading that will just give more form to our dog in a little bit. So now we've got that very very quick simple basic shape down his shoulders are going to be at a bit of an angle standing in a bit of a heroic pose his arm's going to come off so there quickly we've got the shapes down now so we can start adding more detail and darkening up and there's the little knot on his belt his belt's two cords and that goes you can see the back of his bearskin type thing goes halfway down from his hair so there we've got really have got a full image down very very quickly just using those basic shapes so now we're going to start detailing up I'm going to put darker lines down so nice circle for that eye again the same for his right eye now you can use a coin if you want to get those exactly right then his pupil fills that space his right pupil fills that space now he's got multiple points of light so I'll make these a little bit bigger so that you can see them I'll just draw three little circles and there's only one on that one which is quite strange one highlight but we shall possibly put some more in with that in a second but now if I just darken all of that in so just color in nice and quickly and your eyes will give you a in fact I'm going to put the second one in and a little third one there as well and the eyes will give you uh, no pun intended a focus point for your drawing because you already got the shapes in so you can see Doug's eyes are staring out at you quite quickly and quite nicely so now we can just delineate the edge of his nose he's got a stronger shadow underneath so we can draw that egg shape in a bit better and he's got a bit of a darker line underneath and then the edge of his mouth so he's smiling quite nicely so you can see here that his mouth comes over and the right side of his mouth goes up high like, oh. and his teeth stick over so we need to come here and we'll fill in the big right tooth and then we'll do the one next to the right tooth and that comes over his bottom lip slightly and then we want this one on this side and then the final tooth that goes into the corner of his mouth and we can do the dark right behind those fill that in quite quickly and then fill that up we can now half half the pressure if you do his nostrils again just nice simple quick circles 
and there you've got a very very quick basic dog shape now his cheek here is going to come down and round and it'll follow the shape of his mouth and then we can do that down his neck down into the top of his furry t-shirt cassock type thing no, it's not a cassock or anything it's like some fierce bear skin thing and then the side of his head goes up and his hair like a pair of curtains at the top and we've got that coming down there goes over his right cheek and there's Doug's face so now we've got a it's not exactly been to a hairstylist but he's got a bit of a right part in there because you can see that how that comes down again just use your pencil and go in the line of the hair and draw down and that's how you can make it work and just do nice big strokes so here he's got kind of horizontal lines with the hair and then that's going up and this will give you the basic framework and we'll fill it in very quickly in a moment shading very very quick to fill in the image as fast as possible Again, I'm doing this as just a very quick, fast drawing. So if you check out the portraits, time lapses that take a long time. There's one of a baby that a dead friend's first born baby named Jedediah. And that's a day's drawing. But again, you can just take your time a little bit more. But it's using exactly the same techniques as I'm using here. Now again, I'm just using nice fast pencil strokes like zigzaggy ones but do it in the direction of the fear and that then there's his arm going off is how you can use the pencil lines to recreate the fur texture or the hair texture so the knot on his belt there's two there and then that goes down and then there's a little twist but again follow the line and direction of the string in his belt and that'll give you the twists so belt goes up to the top by his left hand side and then that curves around but the twists are diagonal so follow that line again the bottom strand and the twists follow the diagonal the same way so keep them going in the same diagonal direction and you're indicating lines to show you what you want with the fur so now I'm putting in the fur or the string on his jacket and that goes down the back so we want his arm coming off and there is his top arm top of his left arm and there's underneath again we'll just do zigzag lines but in the way that the fear is actually flowing and so now we finish off it's almost like a kind of a waterfall if you imagine the fear falling down so there very quickly is a kind of outline and we've got that down in maybe 10 minutes and that's a full drawing now we need to just add a little bit more shading to the image of Doug so I'm going to sharpen my pencil remember I've got a rotary sharpener you'll see all the tools and equipment in my how to draw anything part one video and I'm going to use the side of the pencil now to fill in Doug and so his hair is causing quite a bit of a shadow he's got a bit of a shadow underneath his eyes at the top and then underneath his nose has a little bit of shadow down this right hand side of his nose left as on the paper as you're looking at it and then underneath his top lip again I'm using the side of the pencil and pressing on quite lightly he's got a shadow and that goes right the way out 
to his cheek and then on this side you've got the corresponding shadow right underneath his jawline it's going to come all the way down and he's got some interesting reflected highlights I'm filling in his neck and going all the way up to the side and then lightly filling in there and then he's got a brighter highlight here because the light's kind of coming from this direction we need the cast shadow you can see there from his nose going across his face and then a little bit of a side shadow down there and very light underneath his eye again you can use your finger or a tissue or even a smudging tool something like that if you want I'm going to use a bit of tissue paper and first I'm going to put in some shadow on his arm and then this arm is a bit of a darker shadow now I'm going to use a bit of kitchen roll, a bit of tissue paper, fold it up so I can smudge and you use this as a drawing tool and you can press on and again you can fill in areas of tone so you can actually use the smudging technique as part of your drawing technique and then we can fill in the teeth so again you just smudge underneath the lip and you've got the shadow straight away on the top part of his teeth and just lightly fill in the rest of his teeth and then we need a darker shadow on his bottom lip from inside of his mouth smudge that arm in lightly smudge that so there we have very quickly using simple smudging techniques dog starting to come to life in three dimensions so now I'm going to increase the shadow under his chin he's got a bit of a highlighted line down there because that's obviously darker and then there's a darker shadow coming off his hair under the top we can slightly darken under his eyes now we can darken his nostril at the top so the shadow at the top is going to be darker than it will be at the bottom and again we've got I'm just using my finger there to smudge that down smudge that around the side and then right at the top of his teeth you can slightly darken underneath his top lip to accentuate that and I'm going to you can see the shadow from his top lip comes right the way across there so I'm going to increase that with just a little bit of sketching and then he's got full shadows off his teeth over his bottom lip because they are sticking over and that's how you give them the three dimensionality and we can increase that down there he's got a bit more of a shadow up the right corner of his mouth and then again right down the right hand side of his cheek we can increase the shadow and under his teeth on the left hand side so here we have dog starting to really come together which is quite nice and quick now I am going to use my putty rubber this is an eraser that you can squidge into a point you can use normal rubbers as well but this I'm going to pull out the highlights on his cheek over his top lip again this is a drawing tool I'm going to clean up his eye on the top where that light comes from his nose highlight going right the way over the top underneath the bottom of his nostrils 
and then we want that part of his lower lip highlighting. It's got a nice bit of a highlight there. And his right hand cheek. Again, you can just dab with this. And he's got a bit of a reflected highlight underneath his neck. And then if we just clean the bottom of his teeth up, then that'll help them to stand out that little bit more. So there we have Doug all of his face and his arm done very very quickly so now we're going to do his hair now again use the side of your pencil and just be very free and fast but do it in the direction of the hair and this way you can do his kind of matted hair I think he's ever <sighs> invented a hairbrush just yet and so these lines can fill in and if you squint your eyes you can see the darker shadows so down here this is going to be a much darker patch down this side underneath and he's obviously got highlights on the top of his hair so put these general big strokes in quickly in the direction of the hair and then when you fill in with shading in a minute you can then still see that you've actually got the shape of the hair. So use your pencil, unlike Doug here, use it like a brush and actually draw in the direction of the hair so that you're recreating with the marks that you make the actual line of somebody's hair. So I'm just going to grab another 2B pencil because that one's getting quite low. And now I'm going to fill in these shadow areas. So he's got a bit of a darker shadow there. And then that goes right the way down. Oops. Let's just get that off there. And then smudge it a bit. his hair comes down pretty much right to the back and there you can see his hair is filling in it's just a nice matted mess which is wonderful for caveman definitely this season's hairstyle so we now want down this side we've got to build up the dark Again, I'm filling the shadows in using the side of the pencil in the same way again as the hair. I'm doing this very, very quickly so that you can get the gist that drawing can be quick and fun and easy. And there is quite a lot in drawing dog here. So we can bring that down now over the top of his eyes increase the shadow over the top of his head. Again, I'm now going to use the kitchen roll and fill in the hair. And that fills in lots of area. Again, I'm quickly, as you can see, filling in his jacket, his kind of furry t-shirt. And that's filled into the tone that you kind of want. And again, I'm going to use the side of this pencil very quickly to indicate the darker tones. So, but in again, in the direction. So you've got a darker shadow coming down under that arm. And where that arm comes off and goes over to his shoulder. So... There's more shadow down this right hand side. And you can see I'm just scribbling quite quickly and furiously. And this is the thing, when you're doing fast sketching, just have fun. Because a portrait, as in the 
portraits time lapses that I've done some of those have taken a day and a half and if you check out some of the uh, motorcycle drawings that I've done some of those can take three or four days completely we've got a full shadow underneath this belt here those belts are gonna have a little bit of a shadow underneath as it comes around and underneath the bottom of the belt the amount of detail that's in the motorcycle drawings as well that can take so long I'm using exactly the same techniques I'm just taking a little bit more time and that's what you can do and that's the fun with drawing you can take as long or as short as you want but ultimately just have fun so again I'm now accentuating the shadows in Doug's hair at the top and all this is being done with a 2b pencil again you can use other grades if you want darker you can use a 4b or an 8b or anything like that I'm just showing you the versatility of one simple grade of pencil so here I want this to be completely dark because it's in the background and that's looking pretty good now finally let's just knock in a quick few highlights on the top of Doug's hair you got that kind of little bit that goes in but the more pencil you put in the harder it can be to actually pull pencil off Now on the top of his jacket, we should be able to indicate some marks. And then we've got the highlights down there. And we can just do a little bit of tweaking and darken his mouth down. Just to detail that up. And then a slight little reflected highlight underneath his nose. Bring that back. And there you have Doug, drawn and complete. Thanks for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed that. We'll do some more from Early Man and Please do like and subscribe for future videos and have fun with your drawing. Take care. Ta-da.